Huyu ananibebea nini? So madam what there is? Amenibebea nini? Ile hiyo pati za kusho. Umeongea na yeye. And I could differentiate between your Korea Kana Kameru and the project. Tumba Mwabia? Hey. Ata awa oto wanasikiza. Nili Mwabia hii siyo Korea. Ni project ya serikari. Ali insist. Na alikuja wakati tunaomba. Then we are very sorry for that. Maybe he did not understand. Now listen, you know, very many times we have had a conversation about the place of women and leadership especially in our nation, the political spectrum that we, we, we are attached to as Kenyans. And especially when you go to women actually climbing the ladder and occupying the topmost leadership positions. The other time when I was telling you about when, you know, the Council of Governors, who is currently the Kirinyaga governor, Anwe Guru, she was lamenting that they are finding it very difficult to operate as governors. And then when you go to them as female leaders, you know, women in power, it is even more difficult because at the position that they are holding, they find it very difficult to harmonize every operation. They find it very difficult to balance how they should lead and how they should be actually portrayed. You know, they want to do this for the benefit of the county, but MCS will always want to make them their slaves. So if you don't play the tune of the MCS, your fate is as good as dead. You know, you cannot actually continue being in leadership. And that is exactly what has happened to Kawira Mwangaza. So Mwangaza Imenda. So like they always say, if light comes into darkness, darkness cannot comprehend it. But this case, the Mwangaza of Kawira was not so much strong. Now, I want us to deal with the political aspect of it. Could we say that somebody actually orchestrated Kawira Mwangaza's downfall? Because remember the first one, she survived. And I was looking at two people. First of all, I was looking at those politicians who will side with her or comfort her based on what she has gone through and how they try to, you know, bring out their sentiment. I landed on the sentiment that Moses Kuria made. And Moses Kuria, when you look at him, he was trying to say that there is somebody who is trying so hard to ensure that a specific sect of leaders is not given opportunity to rise up, courtesy of being very instrumental in Mount Kenya region. He was also trying to insinuate that somebody has been trying to fight their way forth to become Mount Kenya kingpin, and by that, they do not want to see others coming up, rising. And if you look at that keenly, you can only try to narrow it down and look at two people that Moses Kuria might have been referring to. First of all, you will be talking of Kiture Kindiki, or I want to stroke Kiture Kindiki, stroke Mithika Linturi, or you go to the extreme, you bring in the Rigiji, Rigadi, Gashagwa. And if you look at Kiture Kindiki and uh, Mithika Linturi, you know, you, you, you talk of them, and based on how Moses Kure was bringing the statement, you can actually set them aside. So the only man you are remaining with is none other than Rigiji. So could it be that Rigadi Gashagwa played a role in her downfall? For me, I would not agree with Moses Kuria because the first, you, you remember the first time when Kawira Mongaza survived? It was because of Rigiji who stood with her. In fact, I remember the time when Ruto was in Meru. There is this moment when Rigiji was trying to say, oh, you know, we don't need these wrangles. We don't need Meru uh, to have, you know, come up in this way and showcase that Mount Kenya is crumbling and even the MCS you need to work with your governor and by that time on that day William Ruto had a difficult time trying to cool everything down we did have actually a video you can check uh, the, the the Meru County shock okay the shock in Meru County so um, William Ruto came on board and tried to cool things down but it did not work out well in fact he was kind of appearing as a man whose hands are tied but Rigiji was on a clear mission to ensure that if there is any difference that is being seen in Mount Kenya let it not be for Meru and let the Meru people work with their governor every differences that they have should be solved and they move in a harmonious way except the same thing is what William Ruto reiterated 
that wacha mama aendelee kufanya kazi na muelewane, mufikiane and everything ikuwe sawa. So if you look at that, you will disagree with Moses Kuria that Rigiji actually played a hand, but you can actually try to maybe give him a benefit of doubt because in politics we have what is called checkmating and the interest at hand can go deeper into what you cannot just see from a shallow point of view. Now for me, I will take this as the local politics at play. If you look at Meru County, Meru County is very significant, very much significant. And the local politics at play is coming forth based on how Mwangaza approached her governorship position. The moment she came to office, she actually personalized the county. Very many people were complaining, why is she doing that, you know? She took it as a family business, a family thing. So you talk of the approach she gave from day one, just like what is being said, judgment start from day one, and where these MCS who are very hungry and can be used, you know, find that that is a loophole that they can use against you, definitely they will run away with it. So for Kawira Mwangaza, I think it is the local politics at play that actually made it in a bigger way to her downfall. And so the local politics at play, you know, sometimes it's very difficult for, especially, let's say, William Ruto, to meddle into. Because if William Ruto is very serious with Kavira Mwangaza, like um, she was saying, that women will not be tampered with when they have gone into the positions, definitely she would have, he would have done something for her. She would still be the governor. She would not have been impeached, you know. So the extent of local politics at play taking center stage in the male politics was very key. And that is where you can now try to bring in the likes of, you know, Mithika Linturi. And Mithika Linturi has been a foe of Kawira Mwangaza. He has been against her all along. Of course, they competed. And there is no way you can actually try to make them rhyme together. Very many instances, very many occasions and events, we have seen how they are going at loggerheads with one another. You know, hell getting, you know, loose and fight breaking up. So the local politics at play, you can now bring in the aspect of Mithikal Inturi. You can also bring Kiture Kindiki, but Kiture Kindiki, you distance him from actually this, because I, I, I would try to see that he is above, above this. Otherwise, if you look at the gamer community, any uprising leader that is supposed to take the center stage of becoming the kingpin, you will not be talking of the Mount Kenya East Wing. Mostly it is the Mount Kenya West Wing. So Rigati Gashagwa will be having interest in mostly the Mount Kenya West Wing, but not the Mount Kenya East Wing. So you, we, we can distance ourselves from the assertion or the insinuation of Moses Guria. Ile tarifa ambaye menifikia ni kwamba watu wa mrengo wa governor wa Meru County walifanya uchochezi Walivuruga amani Walitusi watu wengine Na vile vile Walipiga wana habari